Good morning, everybody. This is Old Uncle Randy, and coming to you live from downtown Geneva, Illinois. And we've got a great stop. One of our favorite places today is in the heart of downtown Geneva, getting ready for Restaurant Week. This is going to be January 20th through the 26th, and uh, a ton of restaurants in Geneva that you can come to. But one of our favorites is right here with the guy that uh, is the creator and passionate uh, owner, um, Tony. Give me your last name. Uh, Gargano. Gargano, okay. And uh, I always allow those type of names to uh, let them evolve. And we're sitting here in your <laughs> restaurant that is also called? Uh, Osteria Bigolaro. Osteria Bigolaro. I'm going to try to work on that. Last night at our, our show, The Next Taste, uh, we had a, a great uh, time being here and doing the show. And if you listen to that, uh, we uh, referenced that we were here. But we're going to be here a lot in the future also because what a great place to come in and dine because everything is fresh, homemade, Yep. And uh, with a guy that's been passionate about getting into this business. Absolutely. I was kind of born into it in a sense. But uh, yeah, we do everything from scratch as much as we can. Uh, all of our pastas we make daily, if not every other day. Homemade bread we bake daily. Um, our cheeses, our homemade ricotta cheese, our burrata cheese. We make uh, about every day and a half or so, every two days, depending on volume. Uh, the time of the year, obviously, things get a little bit busier around here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we talk about everything from scratch. It goes back to when we first opened up back in 2017, September. Um, but it took us about six months to open up, but we did everything from scratch. We maxed out credit cards because we had no money. Right. Um, but, you know, laying 3,000 pounds of concrete for plumbing to save money. My father-in-law did all the tables. Um, my wife and I, my mother-in-law, we all did uh, the tile work. My mom uh, chipped in with painting and cleaning and you talk about all hands on deck with family. I mean, it was it was uh, it was an interesting experience. Very yeah. uh, very humbling for sure. And that, and that passion goes into everything you serve. Also. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah, we, we keep our menu small because of that alone. We can do 30, 40 things, but I feel like you can't give it your all right. on all those kind of items. So we keep you know pastas. That's our that's our specialty. We only have seven on the menu because yeah. we put that much care into each of those dishes that we do. Yeah, and it's right in the middle. Right behind us, right in the middle of the restaurant, you can see all the magic happen. Yeah, it's an open kitchen. Yeah. Um, it's all induction, so there's no heat, which is really nice yeah. for everybody. Um, and we have four seats that we call it our kitchen bar that you can sit in and interact with myself or my other chefs. Um, it's shallow glass, so we can talk and you know if you have any questions. We love the we love to interact, which is awesome. Fun part is in the future, he's going to allow me to go back there and learn how to cook maybe one or two things before I blow it up. But, uh, you know, coming in here also, you can get a great glass of wine. And in addition to that, you have a sommelier. Yeah, uh, our lead server and sommelier is Zach Detrival. Uh He's been here well over a year, and he's doing a fantastic job. Uh, just like our menu, we switch up our, uh, our wines just as, just as often. And uh, on top of that, um, it's mostly Italian wines, just because we are an Italian restaurant. But he does a lot of stuff from, from France, from the West Coast, and we try to mix it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, he does a great job with that. And we do a lot of wines that are not sourced around here. You don't find a lot of our wines at any other restaurants. And it really focuses on um, small mom and pop kind of vineyards right. um, that we work with our, our wine vendors. So he does a great job. No, that, that is great because it's such an intimate area. Now for restaurant week, specials are going to be featured. What's your special? Yes, our special this year, it's twenty nine ninety nine. It's three courses. Uh, first course is your choice between our winter salad and a tomato basil bisque. Second course is any of our um, fresh pastas that are on our menu. And our third course is going to be um, a panna cotta, which is an Italian custard, uh, vanilla based. And then we have um, a mixed berry compote or a salted bourbon caramel that we can choose from as well. So yeah. very tasty stuff. Wow, it's going to be great. Looking forward to it. I want to be here, Ms. Kira. You and I are going to be coming in here and, and uh, dining frequently and uh, hopefully sharing this table. Uh, the um, uh, Asteria Picolaro, am I get that right? No, that's good, that's good. But anyway, go to their website by the same name. It's a beautiful website. You can see beautiful pictures of uh, what they have up there. A passionate guy that's paid off his credit cards, by the way. Gonna be opening up a second place here in town. And with a guy with passion, an entrepreneur spirit, went back to Italy to learn how to yeah, figure it out, right? Yeah, like learn from the source, right? If you want to learn what true Italian food is, you spend three months there to study. 
Perfect. That's what I did. Let's go do that trip. Anyway, Tony, absolutely. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll be back. Uncle Randy out. <laughs>